everybody, it's Monkey Pharma. We're back with some more Ark Survival Evolved. We're here on the Pooping Evolved server, Season 3, Episode 15. And I've gotten a lot of work done here at the Big Treehouse base. Uh, if you missed any of the last couple episodes, I encourage you guys to go back and check those out so, uh, so you've seen everything we've done here. As you can see, I have made all the branches three-dimensional. Uh, last episode, basically, I laid out kind of just the, you know... The layout of all the branches with with flat ceilings but i didn't make them three-dimensional so i've added all the walls and everything to make them look like full branches and uh, today what we're going to do is add a lot of stuff here and hopefully get started on the leaves as well so i want to put i want to put a couple of little huts around the tree as well and then we'll start adding some uh some thatch walls and ceilings and then you know that we can paint green and those will look like leaves once we're done and I've also done a little entrance to this place, which is pretty cool. And I will show you guys that. Hopefully, can I land here? Awesome. All right. So we've got this little door in here. I haven't finished putting all the ladders in. But as you can see, we have this little walkway across here. It's pretty cool. It's kind of scary. Like, there's a water thing down here. We could probably put some alligators down there just for fun. <laughs> um... And uh, so there's going to be ladders on each of these four uh, little things over here. And people are going to be able to, to walk up. And if we have PvP events where we have multiple teams and stuff, they can go up different ladders. And that way they'll be kind of far from each other. And each side won't get to see where the other is going. All right. So let's get started. I want to put a couple little huts up around here. And I have... I have some stone walls, stone doorways, and windows, and then uh, just some more wood ceilings so that we can uh, flatten these things out a little bit. Um, let's see, I guess I will grab some of these, and those I will grab as I need them. Um, and then what we can do is we can kind of embed a bunch of leaves around them, but um, I guess... I guess I'll just kind of put like four huts, you know, one in each corner, and I don't know. I think I think that'll be a good start, and uh, we'll kind of figure it out. Uh, let me run around this place for you real quick, just so you can kind of like get an idea how stuff works here. Um, so those ladders I told you about will come up to here, and these are unlocked uh, trap doors where people can get out of the top. And they can run over to any side that they want to go hide in. Uh, there's a lot of hiding spots that I'm not quite done, you know, setting up yet. Like there's a ladder. There's a ladder going down here to this level. I put some catwalks around here. We've got like ladders going up to these levels. Um, so lots of places. And, and most of this stuff, you know, you won't be able to fall off. Um, you know, I'm going to have, I'm going to have thatch, uh, thatch walls and ceilings for the leaves, uh, to kind of block, you know, people, people won't really be able to fall off many places. I don't think, um, and we can put railings up and stuff too. Uh, like, but then I have some other stuff that I haven't finished yet. Like here's, here's a, uh, a hatch where you can go down, but there's, I don't think there's really any way to get out yet. I'll have to put. I'll have to put like a doorway exit somewhere or uh, maybe let's see yeah let's see do people they would come out here oh you can crawl in here that's interesting okay so you can probably fall off oh yeah that's a little scary um, so where's the hatch is this this is a different this is a different path I think hang on oh there must be some wall uh oh. Is there a wall blocking something? I think there is. Um, so we'll definitely have to figure that out and uh, make sure that you know we'll change that we'll change that wall into a, a doorway or something. Yeah, that's it right here. So we're gonna have to change this to a, a doorway so that you can walk through it, and then I guess people can get out here. Um, I don't know if I should leave this as like a hiding spot or should I put a doorway here just so everybody knows it's there. You know, you don't want to have you don't want to have any spots that are too good to hide in that nobody will ever find you. Um, you know, so we'll figure all that stuff out. But anyway, why don't we um, see? Why don't we just grab? Whoa, that is scary right there. Good thing I have a catwalk. 
Um, let's see. We'll grab we'll grab a couple of these and a couple of these. And we've got those walls as well. And let's see. I guess I'll start by like putting up a little hut right over here. Seems like a good place. Maybe maybe over in this corner right here. All right. So I guess a, a two by two or maybe a four by four or maybe put it, put it out here. Okay. Let's see. We'll put, uh, put some walls up here. Let's see. Should we put like a doorway right here? Oh, it's, oh, I thought it was going to be backwards. I was almost going to freak out. <laughs> um, and then, let's see. Do I have, I have some window frames on me, too. So, let's put, uh, let's put a window frame here. That's kind of cool, and it gives you, gives you some views across. Um, and, of course, we want to have one down here. You don't want to have everything blocked off from your view. And um, I don't know what I want to do there. Maybe put a catwalk out. I don't know. So I'm not going to finish all these completely until I, I get all the leaves and stuff up too, because I don't want I don't want to limit myself. Um, but I would kind of want to set this up so we have little you know little spots like this. And then what we can do? Let me grab some thatch roofs and and walls. Um, yeah, that's kind of interesting, I guess. Um, I'm gonna grab some thatch stuff and we'll start adding some leaves around it and see how that works as well All right, so the thatch leaves and stuff. Um, those are gonna be a little trickier. I think um, Let's see what's the best way to do this Let's see if we have a thatch Why is that not placing? Is my bird like in the way? Magically, it's in the way somehow. Um, like that. Ugh, come on. Ah, I gotta turn around. Oh man, I need a Quetzal. We'll have another one here. I'm probably going to end up wasting a lot of thatch, but that's it's perfect that thatch is so cheap and everything. Um, let's put it right here. That's kind of cool. Um, it does really look like leaves, and I can make... I can make it kind of a bunch of little square, squarish looking areas, um, so they don't... So it doesn't look too bad. All right, so I think I think over here what we can do is add some more. Let's turn this around and we'll make this like a little square of thatch like that and like this and like this and put a roof on it. Uh, roof on that like that yeah <laughs> okay um, so this is gonna be a long tedious process I think so let's check it out let's see how it looks all right so we have one little square and one bigger square and we're gonna basically have to do just a ton of those around this thing to make it look um, you know, make it look like leaves. Okay, so that's one way to do it. And we'll put a ceiling under it. Oh, that's blocked? Why is that blocked? Can it attach to the stone wall? Why is it obstructed? Oh boy. Yeah, this might be difficult. Um, but <laughs> if I keep adding more, I think, I think eventually it's going to start looking good. 
Um, okay, so um, I'm going to work on this for a while and uh, bear with me here and I will try to get at least like this corner of the tree looking good and we'll see if we can do a good job here. All right, we're back and uh, I've been doing a little work on this corner. It's starting to look okay. I think um, I, it kind of reminds me of one of those weeping willow trees, you know, the ones that have uh, vines hanging down from it. Uh, that might actually be cool to add uh, add some thatch walls just hanging down from some of this stuff. Um, now you also have to use your imagination a little bit so far uh, because all these leaves will be green so that will make it look a little bit more tree-like and also um, this is not the top so there's gonna be a complete roof of leaves and stuff uh, over all this stuff too so um, we're only at the beginning stages of this of course but um, the way I'm picturing it in my head it's starting to look pretty cool What's going on, everybody? We're back, and I've got a little frog up here. It's uh, it's not a huge... Oh, I think I just shot him. Uh, it's not a huge frog, but uh, I needed to go get a lot of cementing paste real quick, and uh, I didn't want to have to collect all the chitin, so I figured it'd be easier just to, uh, just to tame a frog up real quick, because um, I need to make a paint sprayer, and that requires a whole lot of... Um, I, what was it? Not polymer. Well, yeah, actually, it does. It does require polymer, but it also requires some. Uh, I don't know, cementing paste and other stuff. Anyway, how can I? I'm stuck in this little hole here. Uh, I hope I didn't shoot him after he passed out. Looked like I did, but it doesn't really matter. This is just a low-level frog, actually. Um, did I shoot him? Nope. He's still, uh, still 100%. Good. Okay, so I'm going to tame this guy up and get the ingredients for the paint sprayer because uh, I want to uh, I want to paint some of those leaves green and see how they're going to look. Um, so I really want to get a look of, you know, how the tree's going to look. Um, and that'll help me place the, uh, place the thatch stuff a little bit better, I think. So anyway, we'll be back. All right, people, we're back, and I've got a paint sprayer all crafted up. Ooh, we've got a spino over there. What's going on with that guy? Let's see, where are you? Ooh, 112. Hmm, I don't have time. It's late. It's late. It's not going to happen, kids. Um, all right, so what I've done... Uh, what I've done is failed to push the recording button correctly, so I didn't record when I was painting these, but I have crafted up uh, the paint sprayer and uh, two different colors, the forest green and the regular green, or the, sorry, forest, not forest green. Anyway, the forest color is this, and it has a really dark green with mixed in with this white. Uh, of course, it's raining, so you can't see as well, but uh, as you can tell, it doesn't really look very green. It still looks a little too white or uh, thatchy color, you know, the normal brownish tan thatch color. Um, I don't really care for this green color that much either. However, um, I think it's, you know, the best, the best, uh, you know, leaf looking color. So I think I'm going to stick with... Um, Stick with that, so... Oh, I just painted the other side, which is actually the correct side, but I painted it with forest green, so... I'm gonna switch back to regular green, and, uh... You know, the thing is, is I need a Quetzal really bad now, because I can't really paint while I'm flying this bird. I'm gonna have to get on a Quetzal and get out there and kind of, you know, stand up in the air and paint these panels. Unless I can get on the inside of all of them, which I, I would have to break a lot of panels to get inside and, you know, paint the panel from the inside. Um, so that's not going to work very well. So, um, I guess pretty soon here we're going to have to go get a Quetzal somehow. Um, but look at the green. Let's, let's paint as much of this as we can. Oh man, I'm totally going to fall off the edge if I try this. I know I am. So... Um, why don't we look at it from above <laughs> and see how it looks? It is, um, it is a little bright. It is definitely a, a little bright, but it does look green. So, I mean, you know, it does look like leaves, I guess. 
Um, let's go back to this forest green color. Why don't we paint this in forest green? Let's see if I can turn around so I don't fall off the edge. Alright, we'll switch back to forest green again and paint this and see how it looks from far away. It's possible, I mean, maybe this forest color looks good after all, I don't know. Um, Alright, let's take the bird down here. Because there's a lot of panels we can paint from up here. The forest color. And let's take a look. See how they look from far away. Um, I don't think that looks very green. It's, it, it's still keeping way too much... I don't know. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Uh, do you like the forest color better or the bright, you know, the the lime green? I'm 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 actually kind of thinking that the forest color does actually look okay um, c compared to this color. This is just way too bright, and it looks like it looks ridiculous. Actually, it looks like like bright fluorescent green. Um, so let's look from really far away. Yeah, that other forest color is just no good though. It's not not very good at all. I wish there was something in the middle. There's only forest and there's green and That's it. So we're gonna have to decide somehow Which one we like so I need your guys help. Let me know. Let me know which color you think is better and um, You know, we'll see <laughs> We'll see how it goes Let's get off here. Let's paint some more of these. Oh, you're going to knock me off the edge, aren't you? Alright. Let's paint all this forest color. That looks good. Alright. Uh, I don't know. It doesn't look that bad. But we have a lot more leaves to place. So it's hard to tell when, when the whole tree isn't done. Because there's going to be... I mean, look at this little area with all these leaves. We're going to have that much we're going to have that much leaf density all the way around this entire tree plus the top leaves which is which are basically going to cover like this whole area right here. Um so we have a ton of more work to do. Um I'm kind of leaning towards the forest color. Even though it doesn't look good from far away. I don't know. What do you guys think? Let me know. It doesn't seem like we got a whole lot of work done, but I figured out how to place the leaves and get it to kind of start looking how I want to want it to. So um, I think the rest of the tree will start coming together. So anyway, that is it for now. We'll see you all later.